What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. It's episode number 106 and today we are returning with the Champions League final as we take on Barcelona going for our first ever Champions League and on the back of winning the Premier League title on the final day of our 1-0 victory at the Etihad Stadium where all we needed was to avoid defeat and we won instead. We are now chasing the Magic Treble on the back of winning the FA Cup over Crystal Palace as well for the first time ever. Three trophies in a season and a treble. That would be incredible. It's still a successful season regardless. Not only has Gavin Humphreys equaled the magic total of 40 to become only my third player ever to do that alongside Ivan Tony and Samuel Bell Bell. Uh, thankfully, he is going to be fit enough to play the game after the knock he got at the Etihad Stadium. It will still be a successful season regardless, but of course, I really want to win this man. First Champions League ever. That would be incredible in what would be an incredible season, winning the treble altogether. So Barcelona's team, for those curious, uh, looks like this. Ter Stegen is still there in 91, rated at 26 years old. Uh, Sven Botman is there. Theo Hernandez, my favourite left-back in the game, is now there at 90 overall. Renan Lodi's not a bad standing. Kuli Bali's now down to 78 overall. If he's playing, I'm going to exploit that pace and then some. Wow, they've got an amazing Spanish regen in German Montez. I wonder who regen he is might well be Sergio Ramos you know uh, John Stones is their vet at 86 overall in their back line Vindal is there three quality left backs there for Barcelona and Milan Skriniar is there too goodness that is an incredibly experienced and fantastic back line uh, Matthias Cunha 86 overall playmaker Kudus is there as well he's also 86 as well Wilfred Ndidi one of the most underrated players ever in the Premier League in my opinion well maybe not ever but certainly in recent years is now at 88 overall uh, they've also got Nicolo Lozani Orlo, one of my Roma legends a few years ago 28 years old 87 overall Frankie de Jong is still there 92 rated 31 years old my God, those technical stats are absolutely incredible. And up top, Anthony, 88 rated now, 28 years old. Dembele is still there at 88 overall. He's decided to stay at Barca all these years. Uh, Marcus Edwards is there. Interesting. It's always interesting where he goes as the years go by. He's now at Barcelona, 84 overall at 29 years old. And I'd imagine he'll be a pretty decent striker. But Gabriel Jesus is going to lead their line. It seems at 87 overall at 31 years old. Santiago Munoz is there as well. As is Dav uh, David Neres, only 83 rated, but still a decent winger and Richard Leeson will give Jesus competition for that starting striker role. Well that's a pretty good Barcelona team isn't it? Let's see where they get on this season in the other leagues. In La Liga as I always say takes with a pinch of salt but this year in La Liga Barcelona finished champions by 11 points. Wow. Second best defensive record. Top scorers. 28 wins in 38. 11 point lead to win the title. Hmm, okay, all right. This is going to be one heck of a tough Champions League final. I would say, based on the two teams, are we slight underdogs for this? Uh, possibly, I'd say it's very even. Very, very even. I'd probably say we're slight underdogs, but it could go either way. So heading into the Champions League final... As we go for the historic treble, we are playing at... Oh, wow, I just saw it there in the top left. We're playing at West Ham's ground, hosting the Champions League final, the London Stadium. How about that? So we're a little bit closer to home than Barcelona are uh, travelling to England. But i got to say, heading into the final, like I said earlier, regardless of what happens, this is a good season to me. Domestic double, absolutely buzzing. First FA Cup of the save. First time getting to FA Cup final was great. And also, of course, Gavin reaching 40 individually was amazing. But... I'd absolutely love it if we could win the treble in this uh, seventh season. Our team is fully fit, though. Davis will come off the bench, and I'll put in Scott Boyd instead. Far worse, of course, but I just... I, for me, like, I talked about fitness and fatigue and how important it is. To me, these players will be at, like, the similar level of ability. Despite a seven or eight decrease because of Davis's tiredness, I know it sounds crazy, but honestly, managing fatigue is one of the reasons why... Uh, I can project longevity over the course of a season. It's so, so crucial. And I want I want Alan Bound on the bench as well. Let's take out his brother, Mark. He can come on the bench alongside Brennan Johnson and Tyler Roberts. Here we go. Champions League final. Barcelona chasing the treble. I won't be too disappointed if you don't win it, though, after a great season domestically. But it's our first ever CL final. It's Barcelona at the London Stadium. Can we win a historic treble? Come on, Newport County.
never like playing in the rain in a final. There's something about it. It's got to be clear, you know? Clear skies. It doesn't matter if it's light or dark. Clear, you know? I don't know what it is, but like, for finals, for me, like, especially Champions League and European finals, you know, in a sort of like a, you know, May dusk, if you will, like towards the end of the evening. Something so cool about that. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous, can you tell? Man, oh man, first ever season, first ever chance at a Champions League final. God, I want this so bad. Again, I won't be too disappointed if we lose it, because it's still been a successful campaign. First ever FA Cup, retaining the league, domestic double, but to win a treble, it would be an incredible achievement. There's Gavin, recovering from his knock, finds Rabi. And the Tondo has James with him. The speedsters who linked up for the goal on the final day. They might do it again. It's the other way around. It's 1-0. These two are incredible. Whether it's Rabi to Dan or Dan to Rabi, once they're in, the back, in behind the back line, forget about it. The speedsters linking up for the opening goal. And angling the run with James there from left to right. See you later. All alone. Matondo slides him through. And there is the opening goal in London. Dan James is so underrated in this team. Fourth in 12, averaging one in three as he often does. We take the early lead in London. Joe, back to Dan. Playing right centre back for some reason. Hmm. Okay, let's change those positions around, shall we? Payne to Nico Williams. Back to Lloyd Payne. Dan, if you can... Get yourself back into the left wing role. I'd appreciate that, mate. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> and now as he finds some power, do. Well, from out of nowhere, he could be through. And Rabi says, don't worry, bro. I'll take it instead and try and chip him through. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, Ter Stegen. What a save. What a save by Ter Stegen, the vet. Dan James from left center off. Almost got us tuning up with his second goal. And he's on fire in this first half. Here he is again. And Ter Stegen again denies him. It's the Dan James show right now. I just keep looking for him. Here he is again. Shot blocked and cleared. He just wants this. At the moment, I just feel totally in control with the guy. You know, I'm being honest here. And you know what I was talking about? Like when there's like a three man superstar team, especially in the NBA, there's always like that, that one of the three that's always a bit more underrated than the others. You know, it always seems to be the case. Oh, but every now and then, they'll have a game where they remind everyone that they're just on the same level. Dan James is running this show in the first half. And I don't mean for Ter Stegen to have a first half hat-trick. Still leading by one. Barter have not caused me problems at all in this game. Defensively, I've been solid, but really, I'm in complete control here. If I get a second goal before the break, I'll feel very confident. Lloyd Lloyd, the man who's so good they named him twice. Says to Ter Stegen, you won't stop this one. Barcelona, Newport County 2 before the break. And it's Dan James and Lloyd Lloyd who have got the goals. Brilliant. I mean, Gavin did get the assist for the second and Rabi did get the assist for the first. But even so, the two goal scorers for Newport County in the final are not the two you would have expected. Dan James and Lloyd Lloyd. I love it. 3-2-0. And I have to say, we should be 3 or 4 nil up here. So Stegen's made a couple of great saves, but really, I've been in complete control. I was expecting more from Barca in this final. Can they not handle the rain? Can they not look playing in London? Well, at the moment, it is our trophy to lose. Barca have not caused us a problem. The defense has been strong, but really, I'm just in control here. 45 minutes to go. That man's been the player of the game so far. And unless Barca get an early goal in a second, I think I should see this out. 45 minutes away from the magic travel. It's funny because I've, I've played okay, but I haven't needed to be at my best in this game so far, if you know what I mean. But finally, Barca are coming forward. And oh, Price had to readjust his body and make a save. Well, here we go. Barca in the second half. And now we're going to start coming at us after a lackluster first 45 minutes. David Neres trying to catch Price out. And in the end, it's a good readjustment from Lee as he palms it over the crossbar. Here we go, here we go, we're waiting for this. Barcelona have woken up. Rock out on the backside from Xavi at the break, and here we go. Barca now are going to cause us some problems. Question is, can they stop this man, Dan James? Well, they have initially, but the chance remains alive on the break here. Nico Williams, Gavin Humphreys. Nico Williams, the former red, down the left. Needs a teammate, Rabi. Gets it. This will do it. Good block, and Barca will clear. Whoever gets the next goal, it's going to be crucial. Barca get it, momentum could change. We get it, game's over. 
Brashasia to Gavin, the peril player, 1-2. And now to Vongay, to Lloyd Lloyd. He scored our second. Rolls it back to Rashasha And, oh, what a... It's okay. Oh, big block as well. Massive interception by Milan Skriniar. That is sublime defending. I don't normally show defensive highlights. I'm showing that one because that is goal-saving and perhaps game-saving. No way would Rabi have missed from there. Milan Skriniar has kept Barcelona in it. That is incredible defending. And that's lucky, but I'll take it. And Gavin. To Rabi. This to wrap it up. And Ter Stegen keeps Barcelona hanging on by a thread. There's 18 minutes on the clock as Nico wins that back. And we get another goal and it's definitely game over. I think if Barcelona can get one in the next 5-10 minutes, it will make me a little bit nervous. Because you know how common late goals are in FIFA. But to be fair, my defence in this game has been amazing. Lloyd has been sublime at the back. And go on, mate. Go on, away you go. Away you go, <laughs> Lloyd. Pain. Humphreys, it's over. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Game over. Good night, Barca. Newport County Champions League winners. How often do I talk about full pitch presses from the AI? And all you've got to do is just work the ball behind them. If you've got a quick team, you are in. You are clear. And if you keep your composure, it's over. Gavin gets a goal in the final. Lloyd Payne, the left winger, with the assist. 3-0 Newport County. This has been an almost inch-perfect display in London. Deserved winners, no doubt, turned up on the big stage and then some. We've been sublime from defence to offence. This Champions League is ours. And now I want to see out the clean sheet as well. And right on cue... Go out to get Ben. That'll do. And away you go, Joe. Well done. We hold on for now. Tondo trying to slide through Gavin. Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely. Oh, rare. Thank you very much. Ter Stegen's not going to go into the book for that. I think the referee's taking sympathy, but a chance to make it four from the spot. You know, you rarely win penalties nowadays, even more so rounding the goalkeeper. It used to be so easy to win penalties going around the goalkeeper. Now... You've got more chance of going round them completely than actually getting awarded a spot kick. Gavin's standing up to take it, but you know what? I'm not going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to Rabi because Rabi deserves a goal as well, man. Rabi deserves one in this final. Going left-hand side. I'm not the best at penalties, but I trust my boy Rabi Matondo to wrap it up in style. I hate penalties in this game. I really do. Still get a goal from a corner. Got aim from Matondo. In it goes. No, headed away. And Padu keeps the chance alive. Give it Matondo. Yes! Can't score from 12 yards. Can score a bullet half volley under pressure. <laughs> oh, man. I am so bad at penalties. I'd, I'd rather have the ball 25 yards from goal than from 12 yards from a spot kick. Honestly. Yes, I so badly wanted to get Matondo a goal, and we do. Brilliant goal, and that's the goal of the game as well. Dan Jays with an assist to go along with the goal. What a strike. Rabi does get his goal in the final. 4-0 Newport County. What a way to win the Champions League and the treble. This has been amazing, and do you know what? I'm going to bring on Alan Bound. <laughs> I'm going to bring on Alan Bound. Get on the pitch, young man. <laughs> get in. <laughs> This has been perfect.
In the biggest game of the series, I could not have played better. Final score 4-0 Newport County and a demolition job in London as we took apart the Catalan Giants Barcelona. And I have to say, like every single player was practically flawless in this game as well. I head into the game saying, we're probably slight underdogs. I certainly felt that way looking at the two teams, but you know, it wouldn't have been too disheartening had we not won it. But the motivation I had after missing out on getting Gavin to 41, I really, really wanted something else to celebrate along with the Premier League and the FA Cup. And this is it. And what a way to get it done as well. And like I said a moment ago, that I don't think a single player was poor in this game. Like, Price made an incredible save. The back line was incredible. Lloyd Payne was a brick wall and got the assist for Gavin's goal as well. Nico was sublime at left wing back and Paddy was an anchor man for us. Gavin, of course, with a goal and the assist. Highest rated player on the pitch. Lloyd, of course, scored our second of the game. Uh, Matona got a goal and assist, as did Dan James after he scored our first. Also set one up too. You'd have to say Gavin, probably the man in the match, but I think I think really it's shared between everyone, but most importantly, Gavin and Lloyd. Lloyd was a brick in that game. Absolutely unbeatable. And there it is, Newport County, for the first time ever, our Champions League winners. We've done the treble, baby. Absolutely buzzing. So now you ask the question, what are we going to do? Because we've won it all. The Europa League, the FA Cup, the Premier League twice, and okay, alright, if you want to really be critical, we didn't win the Carabao Cup, we didn't win the Europa Conference League, <laughs> we didn't win those Super Cups, but I'm not, I'm not really, it wasn't a double, yeah, it was a treble, I'm not really too fast, I think, I think I can go without winning the Europa Conference League, if I'm being honest, you know, <laughs> but um, even so, Thanks, that's all. the season is done at club level. But, what you might have forgot during the midst of this run-in to the treble is that at the end of the season, we've got... Why would you complain about that, mate? We just won the Champions League. Sit down. What you might have forgotten is we've got a European Championship, baby. Yep, we're going to the Euros. Two years ago, we had our first ever international competition with Wales. We got to the quarterfinals before being knocked out by Spain. But after a dominant qualification campaign, we qualify for the Euros and we are in Group B alongside the Netherlands, Finland and Italy. And that's a tough group right there. That's a tough group indeed. But we are heading into the Euros. So in the very next episode, we will return with the European Championship group stage. In Group B, Netherlands, Finland, Italy. Very tough group indeed, but on the back of a treble winning season at club level. Oh, that looks brilliant. We are now heading into the country side of things as we go to the European Championships with Wales. I can't wait. I'll show you the squad I picked in the very next episode, but that will do it for today's. Thank you for watching the season finale at club level of Newport County, guys. We are Champions League winners, FA Cup winners, and Premier League winners, and treble winners. And now it's time for Matters with Wales. It is the European Championship, and we'll add a group stage in the very next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. I'll see you at the start of the Euros with Wales very soon.